enchira nanye abakagiro ba konyara konyore kisusuro kolengana ba bunga buni goba te birebu na okoigera kwa bana ni goko roka ni kurina magega ane mone krobo tukiboko kurani goba kurinda ligua segeka na bono ni goba gani amonchiri ranyare kobe kwa asense mejon ane mono amonchiri goko chia segi kisusuro kiri kuruwa goko chia se abakagiro wa au bakonyara koba chana na kubonriya bana chinga kichi na na bono ni goba ligeti amonchiri ranyare kobe kubuna na barali amba se kobe kachibi chana wengo amba se koli gerele yana komole kera manga nalingeto okondro kwa bana unenchire mo yoko nyara kovisa ovisi bwabo we at the cradle which is a, ch a child rights organization uh, we decided to convene um, a meeting with the members of the national assembly to discuss a uh, draft uh, sexual offenses amendment bill that we have and the reason why as an organization we thought uh, we should have had uh, an amendment to part of uh, the current act is uh, the fact that since the act was passed in the year 2006 they have had uh, a lot of challenges here and there we've had a lot of uh, emerging issues uh, be it uh, when it comes to technological issues uh, one when the act was passed then we didn't have uh, words like uh, sextortion for example uh, we didn't have uh, people sharing um, um, inappropriate images on social media, for example. We didn't have people blackmailing each other with um, images that were initially shared in good faith. I assure you we are going to support this because I'm going through it. And let us just educate our people. Anybody can be sexually harassed. This bill is not for women or children, even for men. So I'm just calling upon all the legislators in our National Assembly Senate to support this bill and we make sure we safeguard the interests of everybody. Sexual offenses should only be heard by a competent, trained judge or magistrate. And this is not an issue where chiefs and people within the community can sit down and talk about it and decide it within uh, you know, their cultural traditions. And as much as we respect our traditions, we're saying that some of them are repugnant and that sexual offenses are very, very serious and they should be heard within our court systems. So for me, just the deliberations around the gender desks and how there is need to have the gender desks in the hospitals, you know, in the public hospitals, for me, that was key. Um, the, the issue of uh, registered uh, sex offenders, you know, recently with the femicide issues, you found out that the, the aggressors, the, the, the criminals in those cases that were highlighted apparently had many pending cases and had been reported before. So why are we not talking about having a public uh, register for sex offenders. We have sex offenders who've been convicted and they're still working in nursery schools, they are working in, in daycare centers, they are working in, in you know, they are, they are actually working with vulnerable uh, uh, communities which they could also um, uh, affect in terms of uh, whether they have reformed or they have